Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's vlog, we will be going to the mosque for the first time. So, we're gonna go to the mosque for the first time because there's not exactly a mosque close to me, but also one of my teammates' mothers also converted to Islam this year, and she invited me to this um, new luncheon that they do at this mosque for Muslim reverts, and I'm gonna go and take my shahada, and I'm super excited, a little nervous. Um, it's kind of funny because I've said my shahada before, but I haven't done it in a mosque And I know that there's like some other things that happen when you, you know, take your shahada in a mosque And I'm super excited because I've always wanted to go to a mosque Um, I've just never really made the time or also I'm just really nervous too So, um, we're gonna be going there. My mom is gonna be coming with us And yeah, she's coming with me and I'm super excited Because it's like I'm just so excited. So this is going to be a hopefully super fun short vlog of me going to the mosque and taking my shahada. Hope you guys are excited and don't forget to subscribe before we get started. <laughs> fully covered she looks so beautiful it looks so related yeah. Allah. Allah wa ashhadu wa ashhadu anna annas muhammadan muhammadan rasulullah rasulullah i bear witness i bear witness there is none worthy of worship there's none worthy of worship except Allah except Allah and I bear witness and I bear witness that Muhammad that Muhammad peace be upon him peace be upon him is a slave of Allah and his messenger is a slave of Allah and his messenger and I bear witness and I bear witness that Jesus that Jesus peace be upon him peace be upon him is a slave of Allah and his messenger is a slave of Allah and his messenger congratulations sister welcome in this beautiful religion uh, and have all these uh, sisters brothers and sisters more than 1.7 billion Brothers is all around the world. Alhamdulillah, Allah Azza wa has forgiven all of your sins just with this with uh, testimony. All of your sins, inshallah, that you are free of any sins in this moment. And not only Allah Azza wa will turn all of the, the sins that you have done before into good deeds. So Alhamdulillah, uh, be happy with that and keep the record clean. <laughs> Allah, which is like really important for me because you um, have to show papers. I'm pretty sure. Like when you want to go to Hajj and stuff, because you know, it's for Muslims and you know, things like that. And so, first things first, the mosque was absolutely beautiful. And we're get, I'm de getting ready. Um, so don't mind if I'm just like literally wiping off my naked because it's hot. It's literally three, it's about to be four o'clock, and I literally just got back and we were there at like 11. So, when we got there, it was really pretty, and I have like, okay. So, first things first, we got there, and it was super beautiful, and I actually, if you guys saw in the clips, had my mother literally um, covered too, because, you know, it's respectful, and I got her head covering, um, and the place is really beautiful, so they have a school there too, so they have a school and stuff for, um, they have a school and stuff for um, the kids there who are learning and stuff like that. So, the kids who are learning, and so we first went into one of the, um, I guess you'd call it like a ballroom, and that is where you will see me take my shahada. Okay guys, so after my shahada, what happened was um, they basically gave me a bunch of resources before we went to this luncheon. And so they literally gave me, it says, they gave me these pamphlets. So the first one is concept of worship in Islam, why Islam.org, and like, it's literally this. And they gave me the month of fasting Ramadan, which I've obviously learned some of these things over time, but it's always good to have resources that I know I can truly count on that are from a scholar literally in my area. And then I also have make wudu and so la, like the prophet, you know, the sunnah way. And so, so this is the book. It says, make wudu and salah like the prophet. And it is a book that explains how 
um, the prophet prayed his five prayers, which I'm absolutely so excited about because they have each and every part. Because they're they even have Dorkur in there and they have seeking guidance from Allah, which is so like that's something I've been really um yeah, so like they have funeral prayers, sunnah prayers, optional prayers, and it explains all these prayers and things. And I just wish like honestly I had had this and I'm super excited because you know like for example it has Surah Al Karfun and I do no, I do not know. So I do not know this surah and it shows um the of praying and the Arabic and the English and transliteration and they have oh my god they have, okay so I memorized um surah al ikhlas I'll show I'll probably show these up here so I've memorized this surah these are short surahs that I've memorized oh my god this is okay I haven't even really I didn't really get a chance to look at this because I'm not gonna lie they literally gave me all these things as like a package which so lovely oh my god don't get me wrong it was literally so lovely like I met all these like hijabis and it was so nice to see hijabis and they were also really nice I've had things lately like I'll be places and I'll see another Muslim and they're wearing a hijab and sometimes they'll like they'll like I'll look at them and I'll be like assalamu alaikum and they just look at me and then turn the other way which makes me really sad actually I'm not gonna lie because I'm like mmm it, 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 but when people do say it to me and they mean it, uh, it's so nice and so lovely it's probably one of my favorite things about being a hijabi is I'm visibly Muslim and I get to have that connection with some people and so they gave me that book so these are from the luncheon so okay so they gave me a okay so they gave me these books okay sorry I got some books from the luncheon so they gave me the clear Quran which um I'm gonna be reading again I've read the Quran and I didn't even realize this until the um, Iman said it is that some people are literally Muslim but they've never read the Quran which is so crazy to me but because that's literally how I learned Islam and then I, and then this was a gift from um, from my teammates mom and oh my god it is literally it's the 40 hadith of Iman on Nawah Nawahi? Nawahi I think and it's for and it's one of the books that i've been really looking for i've actually been really looking for this book um because i really wanted it but i wasn't sure when i was gonna buy it and that was super cool and then they also got me the book version of this which i haven't i've read like part of it but i don't think i actually read it i really don't remember it but it's called my great love for jesus led me to islam which was such a great like thing because i totally understand that and as somebody who like converted from Christianity, I would say, you know, I understand that your love for Jesus leading you to some, I think would be such, it, it wouldn't surprise me if that happened with people because my love for God led me to Islam. Like I would basically say it like that, honestly, like without my love for like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I don't think I would be Muslim because um, I literally, I literally am so grateful. I'll always be grateful because because what was it um because i literally had such i have such a great support system which alhamdulillah i think a lot honestly every single day you know because i'm like he gave me a family who was super accepting and my mom also was covered so that was really cool to see um i've never like seen my mom covered like that so it was a little different but it was super lovely so i really loved that and that really um guys sorry i keep spraying myself by literally needing i'm trying to get as much as makeup off as possible before i literally go in and have to cleanse my skin yeah like this is just simply yeah nasty um i didn't wear as much okay so for the lunch in the luncheon was the part that i was really excited for because i was so curious because i was like Oh, like, they have this, like, talking thing. Like, that must be so cool. Whatever. And so I went, right? And I, um, I listened to a Iman, like, recite the Quran, like, in person, which I think was so, oh, my God, that was, like, literally amazing. Like, I've never gotten to have that because, you know. And so they recited, and they recited um, Al-Fajr, and they talked about um, this Eid coming up in Dhul Hijaz, I think, and that has to do with Hajj and like what we should be doing as Muslims and like that was so powerful and just so lovely. My mom was sitting next to me at the table and I'm sure she would say it was a wonderful experience because honestly, like, like literally, um, 
literally i got to listen to this and i sat next to amazing people and everybody there was just everybody there was literally so welcoming and it was so lovely and this is all before lunch and so the imam was talking and i'm not gonna lie the time actually passed really fast it passed a lot faster than i even thought or realized and so literally after that they had asked me before if i wanted to tell like how i came to accept islam and i was like yeah sure you know i've done it on youtube obviously here and and so then after that i um told my story and i kind of basically told it nearly the same exact way but it was a different audience it wasn't the audience that i have on here which i'm not exactly sure i haven't really looked at the demographics on this honestly so um but i told my story and i really enjoyed it um everybody was so lovely so nice so kind and so many of them i mean all the girls that were literally wearing hijab and they were coming up complimenting me talking to me and it was so lovely i even found um one of them who was a fashion designer her name's aisha shout out to her honestly girl literally is a fashion designer and i'm trying to become a fashion designer and she literally told me she's like oh my god like i need to show you some and i was like yes 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 please and thank you like and saying my shahada, honestly, I was trying not to cry. Like, that was so hard. Also, don't mind me eating twice. Um, I was literally trying so hard not to cry after. But my mom was so proud of me, and it was really um, emotional. And I was just beaming. I, um, I got to tell my story, and people laughed at part of people. I, I, it was really nice, because I've been told I have a nice storytelling voice, and just, like, so being able to tell my story... And we had people so interested. It was so lovely. And I would say that they were just so welcoming. And it was just lovely because we were sitting at these tables. And also the setup was just so beautiful. And so they had some books on the table that we could um, that we could take and like use because and they were for free. So there was these two books. Which was... Mm, 55 Hadith on um, Islamic Behavior and Discipline. I'm so excited to be reading these because mm, looking through this, I'm so excited. Like, like, I don't even know how to explain this to you, but like, these books are going to be, I'm probably going to dive into these right after because I'm just so excited. Like, like, I don't know how to explain my love for Islam besides the fact that I just am so proud to be Muslim. And I'm so proud to have a community around me. And also there were a lot of um, black Muslims and white Muslims, Asian Muslims. And it was just really nice to see because I think I really got to see a good, I really got to see a good diverse amount of Muslims. And it was really funny because they were telling me something and some things I knew, but there were some things I didn't know. So I got to learn those things and that was super lovely. And getting to pray with all these women in like a prayer, it was I don't think I can describe it besides community. I know I was getting looked at, but I'm sure it's because they've never seen me before. And you know, I'm also black and I was also literally wearing this. Like, I mean, also everybody was wearing purple, period. Because literally live life in purple, hashtag live life in purple. Like why we want live life in purple. And I met this Nagabi and oh my God, she was a lovely, absolutely lovely person. I'm so excited I met these people. Like, I don't even understand myself how to explain this to you guys but like may Allah guide us all but may Allah bless every single one of them um she was fasting and I'm hoping inshallah that I'll be able to fast because he was talking about fasting and how much of a great reward it is and I'm really hope it reminded me that I am need to that I do need to plan for that because I'm probably going to be planning to fast on I think Wednesday Tuesday or Wednesday I can't remember which day it is but it's either the 27th or 20th, depending on which day it is. Um, and I need a plan to fast for that. So, um, yeah, and that was, like, a really good reminder. And I think it was a really good reminder for me. Because lately I felt, like, off my dean, if that makes sense. I felt a little disconnected. And I just was really, tr I've really been trying my hardest to get back to it. Because, like, being a reader, it's not like I was, like, so off I wasn't praying. Like, no, I was praying. I just wasn't as in touch. Like, I'm usually really in touch with my prayers. And I usually take so much, like, concentration and put it so much into my prayer. But I was just feeling a little off lately. And that's also because I've been having health issues. And so my health issues have made it a little bit different for me. And so I'm just trying to 
um, remind myself, but taking my shahada and doing the paperwork and stuff just reminded me why it just, it reminded me why I'm Muslim and it reminded me that I'm doing good and that I can work on so much and you take it one step at a time because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is also merciful but I also need to remind myself that I'm doing good and I'm doing great and that I can learn so much and that it's okay to have highs and lows, you know? Like taking my shadow just reminded me you are Muslim for a reason, you chose Islam, you know? And I think it was beautiful, the people, just all these women, just all these women I met were so lovely. Ugh. And like, also they called me sister, which if you don't know, um, sister can be used quite passive aggressively towards black women. And before I was Muslim, I've heard the term sister used to me as like a derogatory, not exactly derogatory, I would say it was used to, against me in like a very microaggression way, like low key, like, hey sis, like in a rude way, but they say sister and brother and they mean it like we're a umma, and so that was actually really comforting, and I didn't realize how comforting it'd be, so I'm really excited and happy about that, and so, yeah, I am so freaking excited, and yeah, I had a great time, and I did home, get to pray, and, and I didn't record that obviously that. because there were just so many people there, and honestly, I just wasn't comfortable recording because I wanted to get to experience it, and the experience, all I can say is that honestly, alhamdulillah, the people were so nice and so welcoming, and that was lovely. Hey guys, so much for watching this video. If you haven't, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like and comment down below if you're feeling really nice and generous. Just do one of the three or you can do more than three. Do whatever makes you feel happy. But thank you so much for watching this video and thank you um, to the people who watch this. Thank you to literally this mosque because I'm so excited because now I feel so much more comfortable and I'm hopefully going to go to the mosque way more often. So without further ado, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.